For our ARCHICAD tip of the week today, um, we're going to talk about reducing and creating area calculations. So first off, if you need to reduce the area of a zone, as I kind of talked about earlier, um, what you want to do is you want to um, open up um, and set your re reduction area. One can be done by um, reducing by and then entering in a certain percentage here, right? Such so as 10%. <clears throat> if I do that, what's going to happen is it's going to then reduce this area by 10%, right? So here's my actually uh, measured net area, uh, reduced area, and then calculated area right here. Uh, after that uh, is the 10%. Now this reduced area, if we'd had area subtraction going on here, which we'll talk about in a minute, uh, then it would have reduced that area by whatever he has set up for area subtraction. We can also just do a quick reduction by, say, 10%. We do that, we calculate this area by a lower amount based on what we set here. Now, the reduced area can also be applied uh, by opening up our zones from our project preferences uh, and then um, uh, zones, <clears throat> and then going in our zones and defining how we wanna set those reduced areas. So for example, if you had um, niches and walls that you want to reduce by for doors and for windows, um, and you can set that to be deeper than as well as if larger than. And also for walls and column subtractions. Uh, so it's larger than a certain uh, uh, size as well as a subtraction here. Uh, you can even do it for area reductions under low ceilings. So again, if you set these and you have those conditions, <clears throat> then it will automatically reduce within those zones as well. If you want to use the schedules for creating area calculations, then what you want to do is you want to go into your um, uh, schedules. Uh, maybe I should say open up your 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 schedule um, uh, your room area schedule. So go into your uh, 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 document menu, go down to schedules, and then go down to room area schedule. Okay, that's going to open this up. And then once this is open, of course you've got editing to the side here for how you're formatting that schedule. But what we're going to focus on is how you actually define the data that's going to appear in the schedule okay and so what you want to do is if you want to edit the schedule or you want to create a new schedule <clears throat> you would first start here by opening up a schedule and what you ideally want to do is you want to open up a schedule that is similar to this kind of schedule you want to create or you want to redefine <clears throat> so in archicad's default um, 25 when you uh, just start with archicad <clears throat> you, it does contain a room area schedule here so by opening up that room area schedule, uh, we can then click the scheme settings and we'll see here that it's set to show, uh, you know, element type is zone and layers are, you know, and then it, it'll show um, or anything in this schedule um, that is on this layer A-zones-4 areas and will not show anything that's meant to be de demolished. And then in terms of the room area fields, it's already has home story related so number, related so name, and area. So what we want to do right now is we want to take this and we want to create a new schedule. And the new schedule is going to have uh, our floor and site area schedule. So for example, we want to be able to show as a total, not just per room, but we want to show as a total what is our floor area plate, uh, uh, as a total square footage, and then what is our site area as a total square footage. Good example is maybe you need to show um, uh, some calculations as part of your design process in the early stages and you know a lot of uh, sites have a certain percentage of the site that can be developed right and so you need to show what the percentage is of your um, floor area versus the site area in order to meet that design criteria for the code so this is the way you would do that you'd first create a new schedule scheme and i would actually you could do scheme or you could duplicate it um, either way, I'd probably duplicate it um, and then type in your floor and site area schedule. OK, and I'm used doing that by clicking the new button over here. And then I'm going to if I'm going to do new. I'm going to select elements or I can just duplicate this room area schedule. OK, go OK. And then once you've done that, you want to define what you want in the schedule. So this schedule, I want to first uh, define it as all types. Uh, or maybe I want to find just as zones, could be either way. 
Uh, if I define it as all types, then I can define by layers. Uh, that way I could use fills or zones, either, you know, so then I'm giving myself an option, really up to you as to how you want to define that. Uh, but if I want to do all types, I select all types here or zones. Then you would add another uh, criteria by again clicking the add criteria button here. Okay, once you click this add criteria button, you're going to go over here and then uh, select the related zone category. Now, if you don't know where that is within all the various criteria that you have options to here, just type in the search option up here as zone. When you do that, it will appear with a reduced amount of options and only those to relate to zone, which is your search criteria, and then select related zone category. Now you have these two. You want to add one more thing is, which is the, uh, the, um, the, the, oh, sorry, one more thing. Sorry, this is related zone category is site area. Okay, then you want to add this one more time again as a related zone category uh, is now building footprint. So basically what we're doing is we're saying we want to see both the building footprint and the site area as the two criteria in here uh, for what we're going to show. Having set that, you'll see now we have all types and site area and building footprint. <clears throat> and we want to show two fields. We want to show the zone category and the measured area. <clears throat> Again, the way you add those in is simply clicking Add Fields. Again, uh, you can simply type in the search to search for zone category. You can search to search for measured area, add those in. If you want to change their uh, order, you simply click the arrow, uh, up and down arrow on both sides and hold down and move them up or down. Uh, once you've done that, you uh, can click OK and you're going to see that we have our measured uh, site area schedule here showing our total building footprint as 3680, which would be this area right here. And our site area is 12,795, which is the green area around it. Now, if I wanted to have a uh, a total here, I could total the amount down here, but that probably wouldn't be relevant, right? Because I don't want a total, I really want a subtraction, in which case I could go into, which we're not going to do in this, this one, but you could go into expressions, add a calculation in there to actually create that, uh, that subtraction. Okay, so that is our tip of the week.